all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them well, let's go down to the news proper as the hot Hey, don't shell uh, the commander of the NIG, Indiana, Bo Ebana Zanumano. Uh, they have uh, the commander don't cry out to say the things we say they happen to them now. <laughs> the man say, you know, know how the thing they happen. Uh, how the Biafra Liberation Army, they take, they enter, they conquer, uh, they carry everything they go. If not before... Uh, the community when me and you they when they allow some certain videos i could have posted that video to you uh where the biafra liberation army they shout they say they don't run no they don't run no say fire them fire them you they hear granite ta, 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 ta. i saw again in a man <laughs> they say that the men of the biafra liberation army and then they give what to, to, to the men of the NIG army them boys to the NIG army them boys i see they go um it don't shell out <laughs> um, I say, wait till they happen. I can't do what that you know, what to make me the laugh. We say, um, the the people where we say they call the energy army, you know, they show waiting the water, water, uh, where we say the uh, Biafra liberation army don't give to them, uh, they know they show that water, water, the only water, water, where they show, uh, and the one where we say they do. Uh, you go see them, they go rush, go post them. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the bias, na normal I got no offenders in auto auto. When you see no offenders in auto auto, I am not even one about John one. But I see the B, uh, the commander self of the NIG army don't cry out. Uh, in don't they shout again in a mess, again in a mess. Why information will reach me? Will even make me one laugh for them for ground. Be say, uh, the men of the NIG army say sometimes hand they come they come out for air, they fire them granite. <laughs> they know they see where the hand they come from. Uh, you know, as they go, uh, hand you go, you go just see only gun go, they follow you, they 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 fire you. That thing be like waiting with the C4. Uh, what is his name? Um, um ah, waiting that they call him. Uh, uh, GTPA, uh, GPA game, and uh, that kind of game, that rough game, it they be like waiting with the C there. I see they be on another information. They say, hmm, insecurity. One this sit at home defies Anambra government effort to, uh, Nani Soluya Nudo, uh, will be the governor of Anambra state. Uh, don't talk, say, you don't too much. Uh, Anambra people don't they lament say despite the uh, the effort of Anambra state government to be able to set up a security outfit uh, according to them that uh, the Monday sit at home has defied all these things and still in Anambra state there is still a big sit at home as it be. Anambra state governor professor Choko Masurudo will clock two years in office on the 17th of March 2024 within the two years security has remained his biggest headache the challenge preceded him in office as the activities of government using his station as a cover stated during the second term of his predecessor chief willie obiano in 2020 the indigenous people of biafra introduced the monday sit at home an exercise which was meant to be a civil disobedience to protest the arrest and redition of its leader Nam the Kano from Kenya. The exercise has crippled the economy of the Southeast with many well meaning people of the zone begging for an end to it. This led the group to call for exercise in 2021, but a splinter group of sessionists led by Finland based British leader Simon Eba insisted on enforcing the exercise. Three years after IPOB called off the exercise, the entire southeast zone has continued to remain a shadow of itself every Monday as most parts of the zone, especially the hinterland, fail to open for businesses. In Anambra, most schools, banks, and other businesses still do not operate on Mondays, 
why market that open as a result of government orders really have traders coming out. Meanwhile, security agencies in the state have intensified efforts to secure residents on Monday from dissidents who may want to molest them, while also assuring them of their safety on the part of the state governor. The state government has constantly made announcements in the state government-owned radio station Anambra State Broadcasting Service begging people to open their businesses on Monday. Last Monday, the Commissioner of Police in Anambra State, CP Aderemi Adeoye, in an attempt to boost the confidence of the people, visited Onicha to assess the security deployment and level of compliance. He also interacted with shuttle drivers plying Upper Iweka Road to find out their challenges in returning to businesses on Monday. The commissioner who spoke with journalists after the exercise reviewed that the Anambra state government has lifted curfew in the Newe Onicha and Obaru. Governor Saludo had, in the wake of regular attacks in the state, placed curfew in some local government areas, restricting tricycle shuttle buses and motorcycles from operating in the affected areas. But Adeboye revealing the lifting of the curfew imposed by the state government urged them to be law abiding, vigilant, and promptly report acts of crime to the nearest police station or call the command's control room. Doing this shows the act of patriotism to the nation. In return, your safety is our responsibility, Adeboye said. Police is not the only security agency in the state working to restore normalcy on Mondays. As I they move from that one, I they enter for Abia State, waiting they happen for Abia State between students' court, uh, student fraternity, as uh, they don't buy one boy like that, Koro Koro, uh, for people face camera capture, and, uh, but I know go one bring you that uh, video, but I go just bring you the information as it be. A shocking video captured the moment a final year student, student of Abia State University was was chased down and shot dead by parties uh, this one they happened for other state and it is going to be a very sad moment for the parents of this particular student uh, who have decided to give himself up on this particular act of violence and student cultism in school and I would say, parents, please uh, be careful of your loved ones, be careful of your children. Uh, try your best to know what they are doing and how they are doing the things they are doing. Let's still go to the information. The victim who wore black shirt and black pants had blood running down his face as he dragged himself through the untied road. Despite his effort, his attackers also clad in all black, all black caught up with him. One of the attackers filmed while the other holding a gun approached him. The victim stood and tried to run, but the one with the gun shot him down. As the attack was happening, students watched from their hostels on the street. Another video showed the victim lying in his blood while people surrounded him. The attack said to have occurred on Monday morning, March 11, created tension in Uturu, where Absu is situated. A student reported that police arrived in their numbers following the killings. The victim is reportedly a final year student who should have graduated the following day. As it be, uh, I say rest in peace to that particular wasted soul uh, that have wasted the resources of his parents, uh, which they used to send him to the university in order to become somebody very important and efficient in the society. Uh, but as it is, you can see what is happening. Uh, that that boy have lost his life and I don't know how he's going to regain it back again. Uh, the encouragement is to parents uh, to be able to watch out, be watchful about your children and observe whatever they are doing in order to, in order to be able to safeguard those young ones. As it may be, uh, make I go back to the information where we say, carry me, come. Uh, like I told you, the NIG commander of Ndiame don't lament say um, these people, uh, what we say that they call the Biafra Liberation Army, say their power is too much. Oh. <laughs> he say where the boys, they have vest power and away, no, no. Say a whole army, uh, nine these boys, they overpower. 
I say nobody, nobody boys overpower them all in the spirit of the land. <laughs> you know, say when the land rise to fight, uh, when the children of Israel versed Moses, uh, even the land self followed Moses to fight, the land was opening up to be swallowing people. We'll be sitting dead there. Meanwhile, now here I got the wine and the cotton. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, you kindly go ahead and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one we'll collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.